Hey beaches, it's Tsunani coming back to you with another video. Today's video, as you can see by the title and my little sign, is going to be about my 2019 vision board. I wanna go over my vision board with you just so you guys can know my goals for the year. Just get a bunch of really, really good magazines, some scissors, poster board, and I use spray glue because stick glue is crap. The first thing that I found, which I just thought it was like beautiful, was this one in the middle. And it's a lot can happen in a year. It was the perfect center to my vision board because a lot can happen in a year. And then on top of that, keep your vision in front of you. And I just felt like that was super important as far as like vision boards go because it's really, really good for you to see your goals on paper. You should have pictures that inspire you scriptures verses that encourage you mementos that strengthen your faith so that was really just the gist of me having a vision board like all of these are just really really reminders like to strengthen my life to improve myself over the course of this year also just a reminder to myself my growth game is strong i look back and i'm like i can't even believe half the stuff that i've been able to accomplish on my own so um just a reminder for myself that you can do it you know and and i felt like that was really really important to me i am thinking about skydiving this year i don't know for sure if i'm gonna do it or not i just feel like it's one of those things that i'm like <laughs> I want to do it just to say I've had the experience, but I've also been on Six Flags Acrophobia and I've also done Free Fall at Six Flags. And I asked to be put like off of it. Like I, like I freaked out completely. So I have no idea how I would act if I skydive, but that was something that I was like, maybe I should do it for 2019. This one's debatable. Guys, if it's 2020 and I haven't skydived, don't judge me on it. All these are kind of grouped in the area that I felt like meant, um, kind of went together. I put over here, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve love and affection. I realize everybody deserves love and affection. You will get it when the time comes for you. And I'm realizing that more and more every day. So I felt like that was really important to put on here. As well as we're so focused on what we want that we're taking for granted what we have. You get so caught up in like, oh my God, I need to have this, I want this, I want this for my life that you don't realize a lot of what you have, a lot of people don't have. I've been just trying to focus on what I have and appreciating what I have and I feel like I've been a lot happier. Trust the timing was one. So exactly what I just explained. Wait for it for when it's for you. I did put self-examine on here and this quote says, I am damaged. And it says, this is a chance to start a new page. In order to move forward, you must first look at what is causing this destructive belief. Because a lot of us feel like we are damaged. You know what I mean? And it says, was there a specific event or person that made you feel like that? And then it says, self-examination is going to transform this moment to an explosive leap forward. You need to remember that we all have those little flaws, nuisances, and behaviors that are different, but that's what makes us so unique. And it says, you are not damaged, you are special, and it's time to believe it. We're not damaged. Everybody's been through something. A lot of the stuff I feel like I'm damaged about, a lot of other people went through. Like, I still am dealing with the loss of my father um, from when I was younger. There are women out here who've never had a dad and never had had the experience to even compare to that probably feel like they're damaged too and it's like you're not everybody has little things that make them unique everybody's working on something like you are not damaged if anything we're all damaged like if we're gonna consider it like that but it doesn't mean that you're damaged it means you're working on yourself and you're healing so I felt like that was really really important um for me again these are things that I'm always still in the process of working on but it's just nice to see like a reminder on paper about them up in this corner is all about me and me wanting to lose weight. When I was younger, um, I started modeling, I think when I was like 12 or 13, and I was doing modeling up until I was like 17 or 18 years old. During that time was when I was developing, and when I was developing, I started developing a body. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican and black, that was gonna happen. When you start getting those button, those thighs, they're looking at you like, girl. And they measured me on my top and my bottom, and she said, your bottom half is actually pushing out of fashion size so she was like you have two options you can lose weight or you can gain weight and get into plus size so um it definitely did something to my confidence being that young and feeling like you were out of something and then I felt like the more I tried to be in it the more I pushed myself out of it I've said that I'm not looking for perfection I'm looking for improvement and progress that's what um this corner has really been about for me I would love to have abs that's why she's on here, you know, her abs are great. Do I think realistically right now that's gonna happen for me? Absolutely not, because I love hot wings and freaking Korean barbecue and 
just all kinds of yummy things and steak and sushi and I'm just like do you think she's eating that I don't think so so um really it's just about getting toned slimming down and staying that way um being more secure with my body most important being more secure with your body is very, very important. And then to just stop gaining weight and just learning to love yourself. Like that's really what was important to me. So I put love thyself. But this little quote here says, surround yourself only with people who are going to take you higher. This has been really, really important to me. And I've had some conversations with my friends that were a little bit um, hard and uncomfortable and that's okay. It's really about surrounding myself with people that I feel like are genuinely happy for me and are genuinely supportive. Down here, I said I really need to have a greater sense of purpose. I'm not unsure of a lot of my purpose. Like, I do feel like I have a passion. I have things that I am focused on. But I do want to feel like I'm here for a reason and to find out what that reason is. Also, to see myself as a masterpiece, having more self-compassion, seeing myself as a masterpiece, like all the unique pieces just working together as one. I am believed, supported, and trusted. Like, just... All of it, all of this is kind of like a combination of like just my mental, spiritual, um, physical, everything growth. So that was what this corner was about. And then this one up here, it's about us. This corner is all about um, making my money work for me. The little camera here is obviously about us. <laughs> so I have had... I would say five YouTube channels. I used to make money on YouTube a very, very long time ago. Um, and I did it and I was passionate about it. And it's something anybody around me can tell you. I love YouTube. If I'm not watching it, like I was doing it. And I had a lot of girls that would message me and like send me emails and just the comments were just so beautiful. And I felt like back then I really did inspire girls. And it was just like, this is why I'm doing it. Like, I really have a passion for it. Like, a girl sent me a picture, like, a drawing of me. You know what I mean? Like, it's more about, like, feeling that sisterhood. And I did feel that on YouTube. I'm an only child, so it was really, really nice. Um, And I really, really wanted to get back into that. I love YouTube. I've always loved YouTube. And I realize it's not about the growth now. I'm not going to make any money on YouTube. I think you have to, like, be a really, like, doing it for a really long time. And, like, getting a lot of watch views and all that stuff. But it's really just about the fact that I love doing YouTube. I have a passion for it there are people that say they want to do YouTube and they really don't have a passion they're doing for money 2019 obviously you can see the last video I posted was my first video on this channel and I'm like I'm going to keep doing YouTube regardless of the views regardless of the money regardless of anything just for the simple fact that I enjoy doing it and then um, I put on here words become thoughts and thoughts become things and that's because you can think about loving something doing something all day but until you put it into action like I mean pretty much like if you put this like say this vision board all these vision boards are words and pictures right but these words and pictures become thoughts and thoughts become things these things will come true you know what I mean so it's like just that mindset of really being like passionate about what you're doing and working towards your goals um so yeah I'm really really excited about this and then up here was just living my creative passion which like I said is YouTube and my business I enjoy just all of it to be honest so I was like I'm really gonna focus on this this year and not make any excuses how to be like a successful entrepreneur which is also on here I do have my own business I'll link it in the um, description but it's shophotbox.com I sell online clothing I try to keep it 90s style not exactly to the T but 90s inspired and um, it's really about just my business growth that's something I really really want to focus on in 2019 and in general going forward past that um, is just focusing on my business and I'm really really excited about beginning it in the process and the progress um and I really just want to keep on pushing with that so that was just a reminder to myself keep on focusing on my business keep pushing because I really do feel like it's where my passion is I love my business even with the little sales that I do get it's very very important to me and I've enjoyed every step of it even the hard stuff so um really it was more about making my money work for me and doing more things that can push me forward as an entrepreneur all the way up here <laughs> says God wouldn't have given you the dream the promise you wouldn't have come alive if he didn't already have a plan to bring to pass and I really do genuinely think that's true um not everybody's religious nowadays but God is real <laughs> like God is real Jesus is real and regardless of your beliefs and everything like that I do I kind of am a universalist which people would be like you're a Christian that doesn't make sense but for me it does I do feel like all paths lead to God 
and regardless of your beliefs and anything like that god's gonna love you anyway so i do feel like everything in my life was already planned and done because every time when i think something's not gonna work out it ends up working out and i'm like I don't know what I was worried about anyway. Like he has my life set up. I just need to keep on pushing and stop getting so discouraged. But um, hopefully you guys really, really loved uh, my vision board. I think it's really, really super cute and it's something that won't get old for me looking at all year because I think it's really beautiful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any video suggestions, hopefully you'll leave them down on the bottom. Make sure to turn on my post notifications because as I am being more passionate about YouTube this year, I will be posting more. Um, my last video that I just posted has one view literally and I think the view was me so I promise you I'm uploading these videos regardless of anything I don't care about views or anything like that I'm doing it because I really just want to show people my passion and what I'm passionate about and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys on the next video love you Bye.